The Incredibles is in Fortnite and I am so excited. I want to show you guys actually before we go through with this item shop video that I actually I actually own a ton of Incredibles Funko Pops. So as you guys can see, we actually have Mr. Incredible as a Funko Pop. We have Elastigirl as a Funko Pop and we have Blue Suit Mr. Incredible as a Funko Pop. So I really am a fan of Incredibles and of all this. So I am just so freaking stoked. So let's click on the bundle and see what you get for 3,500 V-Bucks. You get Mr. Incredible. Now I was honestly low key like thinking about will it have a blue suit edit style? Because a lot of people were saying it might have a blue suit edit style. Unfortunately, it does not. But this looks so freaking good, guys. I know so much about the incredibles this is such a phenomenal movie and honestly guys they made them look so good like i'm actually so shocked on how well and how like high quality they made these skins like oh my goodness this looks so freaking good so this is mr incredible he is a super strong Super strong, super dad. Yes, he is a dad. And this is just, wow, this is just so amazing. So this is Mr. Incredible. And then this is his Lego. If you guys have never seen the movie, you guys should definitely go see the movie. It is awesome. There's an Incredibles 1 and then an Incredibles 2. They don't call it Mr. Incredibles, but Mr. Incredible is actually his name. So this is freaking sick. I am so stoked and they look so good. So this is the Lego for Mr. Incredible. And then instead of calling her her actual name, because her actual name um, in the in the movie is Elastigirl, but they're not calling her Elastigirl here. They're calling her Mrs. Incredible. And she looks so good. She is by far going to be the most popular skin out of the bundle. She's super skinny, super, super thin. She looks really freaking good in Fortnite. And this is just a dream collab for someone like me who is such a big fan of Disney and such a big fan of the Incredibles. Like I literally collect all of the old Incredibles Funko Pops because I, I just, I love it. I love everything about it. So she also has a Lego and then Frozone, oh my gosh. So Frozone is actually super, super, super best friends. He's really, really best friends with Mr. Incredible. They are best friends. Um, they, uh, in, in the first movie, they actually, they actually both worked together and uh, helped, they helped people out of a flaming building, a, a building that was on fire. So they are really good friends and um, Frozone looks so good. An effortlessly cool super. And in hers is a super stretchy super mom. Wow, it looks so good. And then um, everybody knows the meme from uh, Frozone where it's like, where is my super suit? Where is my super suit? That's like the really famous meme that everybody knows of Frozone from. Wow, he looks so good. And honestly, guys, they really don't need edit styles. It just would have been nice to like show like the blue suit and then like the old like suits before. Because if you guys don't know, these red suits is not how, the, it, it's not how Incredibles actually starts the movie. They don't start with these suits. They actually get these suits later on in the movie. So just, just for a little, a little fun, like a little fun information. And then there's Frozone. Um, the back things, the back links. Okay, so this is the Omni head. So, okay, so I'll give you a little backstory about all this because I know everything about Incredibles. This is my thing, guys. I, I love Disney. So, um, this is actually the head of the robot that Mr. Incredible actually fought in the original Incredibles 1. So this is the head of the of the robot. So the robot is an evil villain, obviously. He's with Syndrome. Syndrome is an evil villain in the movie. Obviously, they put a few of the main characters in. I think Syndrome was pretty close to coming into the game because he's a pretty main character too. But this back bling represents the robot that Syndrome sent to go and destroy Mr. Incredible. So, and then also Mr. Incredible's 
full name is Bob. His name is actually Bob. But um, obviously, they're not going to call him that. They're going to call him Mr. Incredible. But um, yeah, so this is the robot. This is the robot, you know? This is the robot that he had to fight. And it's cool. It's a back bling. And then this, the drill bit souvenir. Now, this is actually really cool because this has to do with the Underminer. The Underminer is a villain that shows up at the end of Incredibles 1 and he's basically like the new syndrome because I don't want to give too many spoilers but yeah he's basically like the new syndrome because syndrome went bye-bye basically so yeah this has to do with um with the underminer and the drills and it's towards the end of the movie I just I know so much about this guys sorry I don't want to spoil everything I just I have so much knowledge about Incredibles so yeah um and then Frozone shield this is actually really cool it does look like okay reactivity on and off so basically what the shield is all about is um yeah, so Frozone, in order for him to get around quick, he would be on an ice shield, like, literally making ice ramps and, like, flying up in the sky. Not flying, but, like, like gliding in the sky and then catching himself with his, um, with his, like, shield. So he rides this. He stands on this, like, with his feet and he literally rides the shield. So freaking cool. So freaking awesome. Now, the pickaxe is the Omni Claw. Again, now this is, wow, okay. Really big, really big pickaxe. Again, guys, this has to do with the robot that Mr. Incredible had to fight in the movie. This was like one of his, um, I believe actually, if I'm not mistaken, this was actually the device that um, Mr. Incredible like literally got off. It was like one of the, the arms from the robot and then shot back into the robot. So yeah, it, it's really cool. It's like the robot parts and the pieces. Um, the, uh, here it is, Drill Bit Destroyer. Now, again, this has to do with, I love how they added, like, the Incredibles, like, logo and, like, it, on the bottom. That is really cool. Again, guys, the drill has to do with the Underminer. The Underminer is a villain that shows up at the end of Incredibles 1. So, yeah. You see more of him in Incredibles 2. But, um, if you ask anybody who knows a lot about this, guys, everybody will say Incredibles 1 was miles and miles better than Incredibles 2. Incredibles 2 just didn't live up to the hype. It didn't have a very interesting story. A lot of people didn't like Incredibles 2. But Incredibles 1 was just a, a masterpiece of a movie. So yeah, so that's really cool. It's it's cool that they're kind of doing like a throwback to the Underminer, even though in Incredibles 1, the Underminer only shows up for like the last two minutes of the movie. So you don't really see the Underminer at all uh, in Incredibles 1. And then, uh, let's see. So what is this? The fr Oh, Frozone Shield. Okay, so it's also a pickaxe. Awesome. So his shield is also a pickaxe. Not bad. Not bad. Now, there's two emotes. I'm so excited to see this. Let's see. So, it is Lil Battle Robot. And there it is. Wow, that's so cool. That's the robot I'm talking about, guys. So, now, you can kind of put it in perspective. That's the robot Mr. Incredible was fighting. And then, you see the head? You see the head of the of the robot like when he pops out the red part that's your back bling you see that's your back bling that's the head of the robot that he had to fight in the movie and um and then the pickaxe is one of his arms you see it's one of his arms that mr incredible actually was able to take off and then like shoot back into him so that is really cool and then we also have frozone's stunts okay so that's whoa that's so cool oh my gosh that's so freaking cool i mean okay in the movie frozone does not he does not go back and forth like this ever in the movie. He does stand on that on that Frozone shield and he does make little ramps for himself to to like have a little bit of mobility in the movie, but he does not do this exact emo. He's never done this in the movie. So, it's cool, man. This is so cool. This is like this is like a Disney a Disney person's dream, man. This is honestly insane. Like I can't believe this is Fortnite. So we are gonna be purchasing it with support of creator code Bricks Division YT. You guys want to support me? Support your boy. You know it would mean a lot to me. So these are all of the separate uh, pricings for everything. Obviously we're gonna buy the bundle. Fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Um, Frozone looks like he comes with the. With the backlink and the pickaxe, which is cool. 1800, 300, and 500. This is so cool. I am so excited. Let's purchase it. Oh my gosh. What do we make the thumbnail? It's got to be Mr. Incredible. Or should it be a last. Should it be Mrs. Incredible? Like Elastigirl? Ah, oh, I don't know. Maybe it should be her. Because, yeah, you know what? We're going to make it. Uh, uh, we're going to make it her. Because I feel like. I almost feel like she's going to be more popular than him because she is way more, you know, toned 
And, like, you could be way more sweaty with her. So, I feel like more, most people are gonna actually use that. So, that is so cool, guys. Literally, like, the best collab I have ever, ever witnessed in Fortnite. Like, this is the coolest collab ever. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.